hi everyone it's d here back with another video another tutorial on how to make this textured cardigan i used the even more stitch and i used the double crochet stitch as well so stay st stay tuned to learn how to make it okay uh this is a size medium to large but it can be adjusted to your own sizing using your own measurements for the yarn details please remember to check my description box and yeah if you haven't subscribed remember to do so will you will love it here all right with all that being said let's get into the video i want to quickly demonstrate on how the cardigan is made so let's assume that this is um, the cardigan, like this is how it's going to look after making both front panels and the back panel. So to make this cardigan, first of all, you need to know how long you want it to be. Okay, you need to know how long you, it should be. And also you need your shoulder to shoulder measurement plus two inches. Mine was 18 inches. I added two inches, which makes it 20 inches so my back panel from this point to this point is 20 inches then for the front panels i divided the 20 inches by two so which makes it this 10 inches and this 10 inches as well so here is how we're going to do it you need your foundation chain you're going to make a chain from where from the shoulder to where you want it to stop and then we're going to make enough rows like for me i'm making 10 inches for the front panel once that that part is complete we're just going to make a chain from this point which is going to make the armhole and also create the back panel as well at the same time and then we're going to work repeating the same pattern and once we are done with the back panel, we're going to make another chain, which will form the armholes and the front panel, the second front panel. So once the two, once all the panels are complete, it's going to be folded like this. Okay. So meaning this is going to be the, the first sleeve. This is the second sleeve. And then we're going to join the shoulders here. And then we're going to leave a few inches open as I'll be showing you in the video. To make this cardigan, you need to know how long you want it to be. So I'm going to make a chain of 100. You can chain any number of chains you want as long as it's an even number. So I'm going to chain 100. And I'm going to start with a slip, a slip knot. insert my hook then start chaining but please make sure your tension is not too tight because we're going to work through these chains and we don't want them to be tight I'll be back once I have 100 chains So here I've completed my chain of 100 and I'll be showing you how long it is after my first row. So once you have your 100 chains completed, you're going to skip this first chain that you have. This is the first chain, so you're going to skip it and you're going to turn your chain like so because we want to work in these bank, back bumps okay in these loops at the back of our chain that's what we want to work into so skip that first stitch and into the second one you're going to make a slip stitch like that then yarn over into the next chain you're going to make a half double crochet then into the next chain, you're going to make a slip stitch. Yarn over. 
into the next chain make a half double crochet into the next you're going to make a slip stitch yarn over into the next chain you're going to make a half double crochet and you're going to keep alternating between those two stitches until you get to the end but please keep in mind that you have to start and end the row with a slip stitch and that is what is going to help our work to stay straight so here in the next stitch i'm going to make a slip stitch then into the next i'm going to yarn over and make a half double crochet i'll keep going until i get to the end and then i'll show you guys what to do next okay I'm at the end of my row and I have made my half double crochet here so into this very last chain I'm going to make a slip stitch okay so keep in mind to end with a slip stitch and start with a slip stitch so I'm going to show you guys how long my chain is so my chain is 24 and a half inches long this means my cardigan is this is how long my cardigan is going to be so my cardigan is going to be from the shoulder to where it stops it's going to be 24 inches long you can say to make it maybe 19 inches long or 17 whatever you want okay but mine is going to be 24 and a half inches long For row two, you're going to chain one and turn. The chain one does not count as a stitch, so you're going to skip to skip it, like ignore the first the chain you just made, and into this slip stitch that we made on our first row, you're going to insert your hook and make a slip stitch on top of it. Like that. Then you're going to yarn over on top of the next stitch you're going to make a half double crochet then this is a slip stitch so you're going to make a slip stitch on top of it yarn over this is a half double crochet you're going to make a half double crochet on top of it then in the next stitch you're going to make a slip stitch yarn over make a half double crochet on top of the next stitch and you're going to repeat that same pattern slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet where you had a slip stitch previously you're going to place a slip stitch on top of it and then make a half double crochet on top of the double on top of the half double crochet you made previously Okay, I'll keep going until I get to the end, then I'll be back to show you guys how to start our third row. Here I'm at the end of my row, and again, to end the row, you're going to end it with a slip stitch, like that, chain one, turn your work, start with a slip stitch, yarn over and on top of the next stitch you're going to make a half double crochet then here we have our slip stitch make a slip stitch yarn over top of the next stitch make a half double crochet another way to tell where the slip stitch is is by looking at these loops that you have from the previous row hope you guys can see them and when you turn it when you turn your work like this you'll see that it's the slip stitch is right there in the middle 
between the two loops that you have here. So I hope you won't be confused by that. So here I have a half double crochet. It means the next is going to be a slip stitch. Yarn over, make a half double crochet on top of the next. Slip stitch on top of the next stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way till you get to the end of the row. Half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch it's that simple I'm working towards the end of my second row. This is my last stitch. Chain one and turn for the third row. Start with a slip stitch, then a half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch half double crochet on top of the next double cro half double crochet sorry into the next you're going to make a slip stitch and that's the pattern guys that's all you have to keep doing until you have half of your shoulder to shoulder measurement So I don't know how many rows I'm going to make yet, so I'll go ahead and keep repeating this pattern and I'll be back to show you guys how many rows I made and how wide my panel is, okay? So see you guys in a few. Keep repeating that pattern, keep repeating row two and three until you have the the width that you want okay so i'm back and here i have a total of 25 rows and this is about 10 inches wide after making the first front panel we are now going to start working on the back panel of our cardigan so i have this stitch mark here and this marks where my armhole is going to stop and it measures eight inches that's how that's how long my armhole is going to be i'm going to work from this point and get to the stitch marker then i'll show you guys so once you get to the stitch marker you're going to take the stitch marker out and then you're going to make I'm going to make a half double crochet in that stitch where the stitch marker was and then um, I need to point this out the space that you are leaving here for the sleeves make sure that the number you leave there is an even number Okay, so for me, I've left 30 stitches and that's the number of chains I'm going to chain as I'm going to be showing you here shortly. Okay, so I have 30 stitches there. So now I'm going to make 30 chains. Again, make sure your tension is not too tight because we're, to, we're going to work into these chains that we're making.
Okay, this chain that we have made now is what is going to separate our front panel from the back panel. So this, we're now going to start working on our back panel. Okay, so I have my 30 chains here completed and I'm going to actually repeat that same pattern that we've been doing. So you're going to turn your chain around because we want to work in the back bumps of our chain and you're going to skip that first stitch and into the next you're going to make a slip stitch yarn over and into the next you're going to make a half double crochet and into the next chain you're going to make a slip stitch then you're going to yarn over and make a half double crochet then make a slip stitch into the next stitch yarn over make a half double crochet make a slip stitch into the next chain and you're going to repeat that same pattern until you get to the end when you get to this point where the chain stops at you're just going to Work into that last chain. Mine is a slip stitch. And then just continue with the pattern. So the next stitch is going to be a half double crochet. A slip stitch into the next. A half double crochet into the next. And repeat that pattern. So now we have started our first row for the back panel after your first row of the back panel this is how it's gonna look like that's totally okay it's going to straighten up as we go so here i'm going to end my row this is still my first row for the back panel so i'm ending it now chain one and turn for the second for the second row of the back panel start with a slip stitch then half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet and I'm going to repeat this until I get to where we start working on the armholes armholes or oh, the back panel two in one I'm working around the armholes now I'm going to make a half double crochet then into the next stitch, I'm going to make a slip stitch. So really it's very easy. Like the pattern is easy to work with. We're not doing anything new here. What we've been doing is what we're going to continue making until we have enough rows for the back panel so since i have uh 25 rows for my first front panel for the back panel i'm going to make a total of 50 rows yeah and it should measure about 20 inches wide since the first front panel measured 10 inches okay i hope you understand me on that so let's keep going until we have enough rows for the back panel okay so repeat the pattern I'll be back once I have completed my back panel and then we shall work on our second front panel and then do the rest as we go
So I have completed my 50 rows and this measures 20 inches wide, just the back panel on its own. And this is my front panel and remember it measured 10 inches. Okay, so now we are going to start working on our second front panel. Okay, I've already counted my stitches and placed my stitch marker and I'm going to make a chain of 30 just like what we did for the other armhole. So here I'm chaining 30 for my second armhole and then we're going to repeat the same thing we did for the first front panel. So we're now going to work around our chain and all the way to the bottom. Skip a you're going to skip a chain and into the next you're going to make a slip stitch. Yarn over. Into the next chain you're going to make a half double crochet. And into the next chain you're going to make a slip stitch. Into the next you're going to make a half double crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way to the end. This is where my armhole chain ends and I'm going to make a slip stitch into that last chain. Make a slip stitch and then I'm going to continue making one half double crochet into the next stitch, then a slip stitch into the next, just like how we've been doing it. I completed my first row of for the you know for the second front panel and then I made my I started my second row and this is where I am working around the around the armhole. And nothing we change nothing here, we just do the same stuff. Same thing. Slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, back and forth until you have the length that you need. I'm going to keep repeating the pattern until I have 25 rows, just like what I did with my first, just like what I did for, the, for my first front panel. So I'm going to make 25 rows and then I'll be back and show you guys what to do next. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I'm back and I have completed one of my front panels. My second front panel is also completed and I have 25 rows for this one, 25 rows for this one, and I have 50 rows for the back panel. 
all right so now we're going to join the shoulders again my front panel is 10 inches wide so I'm going to mark where I want my shoulders to stop, like where I want the joining to stop. And I'm going to stop at 7 inches, okay? So I'm going to join the rest and leave these 1, 2, 3. Um, I'll leave those 3 inches out. I want to leave it open and we want to leave uh, more space for the neck area. Okay, so get your darning needle. And then we're going to join here. Remember to join from the wrong side of your cardigan. All right, I just went ahead and placed a stitch marker on my, on where I want the neck to, the shoulder seam to stop. And I'm going to start joining from this point to the end. I'm going to be using my hook, but you can use the needle if you want to. So I'm going to insert my hook right here. And I'm going to be using the single crochet stitch. Okay. Chain one to secure the yarn. And in that same space, I'm going to go back with a single crochet. Then I'm going to go through every loop with one single crochet. There's no actual stitches here, so I'm simply going through the side rows and making a single crochet. I'm now towards the end. Right there. And I'm going to go back in that same stitch with a slip stitch, then chain one. Then I'm going to cut the yarn. I'm going to go ahead and join the other side as well and I'm still going to join seven inches and then I'll be back and we continue with the tutorial all right I finished joining both sides and we're now going to turn it side right right side out okay right side out and that's how it looks. And next, we're going to work on our sleeves here. And for the sleeves, I'm going to be using a different color. So you don't need to change if you don't have to. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to get my color and i'm going to attach it i'm going to make a long chain long enough to where i want the sleeves to stop to stop at keeping in mind that it's going to have um the ribbing part of it so i'm going to make it and it will stop like around here and then i will leave this part for the ribbing i hope that's clear 
so yeah i'm going to make a chain i'm going to attach my yarn first and then i'll make a, ch a long chain because i want to make the sleeve well attached to the main panel so let's do this i'm going to make a slip knot that's how i make my slip knots And then I'm going to attach my yarn into the very first stitch here. So I'll insert my hook, then attach the yarn. chain one to secure the yarn that is not going to count as a stitch and from that I'm going to make a chain of 50 again make sure the chain you make is an even number so I'm chaining 50 and that's how long my sleeve is going to be keeping in mind that we're going to add the ribbing All right, I'm done with my 50 chains and I'm going to start my first row. So I'm going to turn my chain like so. And into the first stitch, I'm going to make a slip stitch. Yarn over into the next, I'm going to make a half double crochet. Into the next, I'm going to make a slip stitch and I'm going to keep doing that until I get to the end of the chain I'm at the end of my first row for the sleeve and I have one stitch left so I'm going to make a slip stitch into that okay slip stitch that ends our row and now back to the armhole to the yellow color you're going to identify the next stitch and you're going to make a slip stitch into that it was a little too tight but we got it and into the next stitch you're going to make a second slip stitch those two slip stitches don't count as stitches like you're not going to work into those then you're going to slightly turn your work and you're going to skip those two slip stitches you just made and this here is our first stitch which is a slip stitch So skip those two and into the next make your first slip stitch then into the next make a half double crochet into the next make a slip stitch into the next make a half double crochet and the pattern continues I'm working towards the end of my second row for my sleeve and I'm going to end with a slip stitch
chain one and turn and repeat the pattern start with a slip stitch then make a half double crochet then make a slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet and you're going to repeat until you get to the end Now this is my last stitch which is going to be a slip stitch it was a little bit too tight but I still managed to go through it so make your last slip stitch then you go back to the armhole identify the next stitch the next two stitches and make slip stitches Make two slip stitches just like that. Then you turn your work. Skip those two slip stitches you just made. And into the third, you're going to make a slip stitch. This here is the third. Skip those two. Make a slip stitch then half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet and you're going to repeat this until you get to the end i'm going to do this and then i'll get back to the armhole part so i can show you guys one more time how to do it and then i'll do the rest of camera okay I have one stitch left and I'm going to make a slip stitch right there and then you're going to identify the next stitch and make a slip stitch slip stitch into the next stitch then you're going to turn your work skip those two stitches skip those two slip stitches you made and into the third you're going to make a slip stitch then you're going to make a half double crochet slip stitch into the next half double crochet into the next so that's what I wanted to show you guys once you get back to to the um, to the armholes you're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches to start your next row okay after the two slip stitches on the main on the on the sleeve on the armhole then you're going to turn your work and start your next row with a slip stitch and repeat the pattern so i'm going to do that and then i'll meet you guys back at the end I'm back guys and I have worked in all the stitches I had around the armhole and this is what I have. I have made a total of 31 rows for the sleeve. The next thing we're going to do is join this part. Okay. And to do that, we need to turn our cardigan wrong side out. We need to join it from the wrong side. So you're going to turn it wrong side out. Then get your yarn or darning needle and then going to join it. All right, you're going to make sure that it's well aligned. And we're going to go through both sides at the same time and make a slip stitch. I'm going to chain one here and then I'm going to insert my hook 
into that very first stitch for both sides and make a slip stitch. Insert my hook into the next stitch for of both sides and make a slip stitch. And I'm going to do that until I get to the end. I'm at the end and this is my last slip stitch so I'm going to I'm going to chain one and cut the yarn okay and that's completed after joining the sleeve you're going to turn your cardigan right side out we're going to start working on the ribbing around the wrist part and we need that on the right side okay i'm going to insert my hook in one of the side rows because we have no actual stitches here so i'm just going through the side rows or oh, i don't know what to call them but then you're going to chain two and then you're going to I'm trying to focus here sorry guys okay after chaining two you're going to yarn over and make a double crochet into that same space yarn over then you're going to insert your hook into the next side row with a double crochet yarn over so what I'm doing here is I'm going through, I'm going between these loops, like I'm going through, I'm, I'm inserting my hook in the middle between the two loops and making a double crochet. I hope you can see that. And I'm going to keep repeating this all the way around. Once you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch on top of the first double crochet you made. So ignore the chain two, but on top of the double crochet, which we have in the same stitch, you're going to make a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain two. And then you're going to make a front post double crochet go under the post and make a insert your hook under the post and make a double crochet that's a front post double crochet then we're going to make a back post double crochet to do that you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook like so and you're going to pull back the next two stitches like that and then you're going to pull up a loop and make a double crochet and that is a back post double crochet so we're kind of making a decrease here but if you find that this uh, that the the armhole that we have at this part is going to be small for you please don't make the decrease okay so there we just made a front post next you're going to go under the stitches and pull back the next two stitches pull up a loop and make a double crochet
and you're going to keep repeating that until you get to the end. Before you do this part, please make sure that your your arm can go through the sweater, you know, so that you don't have to take out a whole a whole bunch of rows. Okay. So I'm going to keep repeating this until I get to the end. Then I'll come back and show you guys what to do. I'm at the end of my row and I'm going to slip stitch in my f in the first double crochet to chain chain 2 which does not count as a stitch. Insert your hook under the double crochet and the chain 2 you made previously and make a front post double crochet. Yarn over, make a back post double crochet, yarn over, and make a front post double crochet, yarn over, make a back post double crochet, and you're going to repeat that pattern until you get to the end. All right, um, at the end of my row, and I'm going to slip stitch again on top of the first double crochet, chain two, and you're going to repeat the row we just completed. Okay, make a front post and a back post double crochet. Yarn over, make a front post double crochet. Then you're going to make a back post double crochet and you're going to keep alternating between those two stitches over and over until you have enough rows for the you know for the ribbing that you want. Alright, I'm going to keep repeating this pattern. Until I have enough rows, I don't know how many I'm going to make yet. So I'll go ahead and complete it. Then I'll be back to show you guys how many rows I ended up making. Here I'm working on my last row. And I'm going to end my row with a front post double crochet. Then I'm going to slip stitch on top of the first double crochet, chain one and cut off the yarn leaving a long tail that you can weave in later. Okay, and this is how it looks. It looks small, but it's stretchy enough for my arm to go through. So I made uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. I made 15 rows for the ribbing. You're going to repeat the same pattern we did for the sleeve on the other side of your cardigan to make your second sleeve. And as you can see, I already have mine here completed. So go ahead and make yours as well. And then we'll start working around the, around the neck, the neck area. Okay, so Get whatever yarn you're going to use for this part and let's get into it. I'm going to make a slip knot with my yellow color. And then I'm going to insert my hook into the last stitch that I have. Like you see this row here. There is this first stitch that I have here and that's where I'm going to insert my hook. Okay. I'm going to chain two and in that same space make a double crochet. Yarn over. 
go into the next side row with a double crochet you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook into the next side row and make a double crochet and this is where we have this loop And then I'm going to, you see these two loops that I have, I'm going to go in the middle and make a double crochet right there. And then I'm going to make a double crochet where I have the loop. Then go in the middle between the two loops and make a double crochet. Go in the same row where the loop is and make a double crochet and you're going to repeat that all the way across i hope you get it guys because there are no um, actual stitches to work into for this part but this looks just fine so you're going to repeat that all the way around when you get to this part where we join the shoulders from, you're going to place a stitch into that row as well, as you can see in the video. So place there a double crochet and then keep going, repeating the, set, the pattern we've been doing around the neck hole. So I'm going to repeat this until I get to the end then I'll be back to show you guys what we need to do for the next row. Okay, I'm at the end of my row. And I'm going to make my last stitch. And in this first stitch, I have around this row here. Like the stitch among this, just like what we did for um, while starting this row. So this is the stitch here going to insert my hook and make a double crochet the next row is just going to be a row of double crochet so chain two and turn your work And then you're going to yarn over and in that same stage where the chain is coming out of you're going to place an, a double crochet the chain two does not count as a stitch into the next stitch make a double crochet and you're going to make one double crochet on top of every stitch until you get to the end All right, I'll meet you at the end of the row. I have one stitch left here and I'm going to yarn over and make a double crochet right there to complete my second row of this neckline. So now we're going to repeat that same row we just completed. And we're going to repeat that for the next, um, I think I made like six rows and I'm going to change colors so you can do the same or you can just use one color if you want okay so chain two turn your work make your first double crochet into the same stitch the chain is coming out of make a double crochet on top of the next stitch and you're going to repeat making one double crochet on top of every stitch until you get to the end all right i'll go ahead and make um and make main then i'll be back once i have this part completed i'm done and i have a total of one two three four five six rows i have six rows for the neckline and these are enough for me so we're going to do one last thing and then we'll be done with this tutorial so we want to give a nice edging to our cardigan and i'm going to use the shell and uh, p 
picot edging so going to work all over this row so going to identify the first stitch that you have and you're going to insert your hook and attach the color that you're going to use for that part so you're going to chain up three I should have chained three here but I chained two so chain three then yarn over and make a double crochet into the same space yarn over make another double crochet into the same space chain four chain four and then you're going to make a slip stitch between the double crochets that you have okay right there then you're going to yarn over and back into that same space you're going to make two more double crochets like so that's one and two and you should have something like this next you're going to skip two double crochets skip one two and into the third you're going to make a single crochet yarn over skip two and into the next you're going to make three double crochets chain four then you're going to slip stitch between the two double crochets that you have all through that uh, little hole that you can see right there make a slip stitch and back into that same space make two more double crochets so in total here you'll have five double crochets skip two one two and into the third you're going to make a single crochet yarn over skip two make three double crochets into the next stitch that's one two three chain four and make a slip stitch then make two more double crochets all into that same space and that's what you're going to repeat skip two make a single crochet into the third skip two make three double crochets into the next chain four and make a slip stitch between the two double crochets and then make two more double crochets into that same space you're going to repeat this pattern okay you're going to repeat that until you get around the neckline and that's where i'll meet you and show you what to do I worked my way up here and I have one stitch left here so what we're going to do is skip that one stitch and then we're going to make a single crochet on this row of double crochet that we made previous on the around the collar so insert your hook and make a single crochet then yarn over going to yarn over and you're not going to skip anything so you're going to yarn over and insert your hook in that next row of double crochet and make three double crochets chain up four slip stitch yarn over in that same space make two more double crochets like that 
then into this next row we're going to make a single crochet yarn over and on on this next one on this next row of double crochet we're going to make our three doubles chain up four then slip stitch back in that same space make two more doubles and you should have that then you're going to single crochet on the on this next row like that yarn over we have one row left and we're going to make three doubles around this post then make four chains and slip stitch yarn over back in the same space you're going to make two more doubles and you're going to end up with something like this so what we've done is around the collar we didn't skip anything like how we were we were doing for this part okay we worked in every side row of double crochet that we have here okay so now we're going to work around this around the collar all right so what we're going to do here we're going to go back to how we were doing it here so you're going to skip one two and into the third stitch make a single crochet yarn over skip one two and into the next stitch you're going to make three double crochets like that chain up four slip stitch yarn over back in the same space make two double crochets and you will have something like this then we're going to repeat that skip one two into the next single crochet yarn over skip one two into the next make three double crochets chain four make a slip stitch yarn over make two double crochets into that same space skip one two into the next single crochet and repeat that same pattern and when you get to this side of um, of the collar you're going to do the same thing we did here okay and then from here you're going to continue with the pattern like how we did for this part okay so i hope that's clear but yeah maybe let's get here and i show you guys how we're going to work around this edge so that we don't get confused here we are i'm at the other side of my collar i'm on the other side of my collar and this is how it looks i have one stitch left here so I'm going to skip it. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to yarn over. And as you can see, I had a single crochet here. So I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to work over this post, over this first post of double crochet. Okay, so yarn over. Make three double crochets. chain four make a slip stitch yarn over make two more double crochets into that same space okay move into the next row next post here we're going to make a single crochet yarn over on this next row we're going to make our shell which is three double crochets chain up four make a slip stitch yarn over and make two more doubles into the same space 
single crochet in the next row yarn over this is our next row and we're going to repeat the pattern just like we did for the other side single crochet so here where i have my single crochet is my last row of double crochet for the collar and we're now going to start working on this side of our cardigan so just like we did for the other side here we're going to skip one stitch and this is it here so i'm going to skip that and i'm going to work Let's see, this is stitch, yeah I have one stitch here, so I'm going to skip that one stitch and into the next I'm going to make three double crochets, chain four, make a slip stitch, make two more doubles all in that same space. Okay, and after that you're going to skip two one two and into the third make a single crochet yarn over skip two and into the third you're going to make three double crochets chain up four make a slip stitch back in the same space make two doubles skip one two and into the next single crochet and you're going to repeat that same pattern that we did for the other side same thing we did here okay so i'm going to keep going and i'll meet you back at the end of the row I'm at the end of my row and as you can see I have one two three stitches left so this is my single crochet I'm going to skip one two and this very last stitch I'm going to make my last shell Oops. and over insert your hook first double crochet two three chain four one two three four slip stitch yarn over back in the same space make two more doubles you have something like that and to end the row you're going to simply chain one and cut the end get my scissors here i'm leaving a long tail that i can weave in later okay that's how it looks so this is how it looks i love it and this is going to be folded like so Look at that. I still have a few towels to weave in. That's okay. And that marks the end of our tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Okay, bye bye.